things. This is my review of my new Monoprice M80 Vertigo bag, which just came in the mail. Haven't gone anywhere with it. I haven't even taken any of the tags off of it. It's still, still all together. So a couple of things that I was kind of, some stories. Um, <laughs> I ordered a uh, M80 bag and somebody had porch pirated it. So the company uh, that I got it from, which was through Reverb, it's a company in California. I'm sorry, I don't have your name with me right now. Um, maybe I'll put your link in the description. You were very nice enough to uh, say, hey, we don't have that same bag, but we have the Vertigo bag, which is a $10 upgrade. And uh, I said, sure. Uh, my only concern was that if it fit my real book, um, which we're about to find out, uh, if it does, first, loading in a P base. This is kind of out here. Yes, and I'll zip it up. Oh, I can't even zip it up because I haven't even done the thing. I haven't even cut the clips off of it yet. And uh, I've got Mr. Dakota Tanksley's real book that I'm still trying to return to him. And we're gonna put it right here in this in this pocket. And, uh, yeah, looks like that fits. And I've still got room for, uh, probably some cables and maybe even a, maybe even a whole pedal or two. Uh, so, got plenty of room there. Uh, I have, I did kind of put it on a little bit. I first got it. It's, uh, it definitely feels stiff. Really like, I mean, like I put it on, it's like, oh, man, there's my support. Oh, man, it's supportive. And, uh. I guess I haven't even adjusted the strap yet, but uh, you know that feels real nice. And uh, so they, the company was nice enough to upgrade me uh, from an M80 to a Vertigo, and I do like this uh, this boot. This boot's nice. It's, it feels I mean it feels stiff and protected. Those shoulder straps feel much better than my old case. Um, little background on what my case experiences have been. You know, um, I have burned through many cases, completely just destroyed gig, these backpack style gig bags. I've gone through, I, I had a, like two Fender ones I've destroyed, a, a Warwick one, I think maybe a, a Roadrunner one. I had a coffin case one for a long time that was made out of this cloth that was very easily fixable. And it probably lasted longer than any of the other ones that I had. But at what point does it become more dental floss? than um, gig bag. And I say dental floss because a woman I was dating at the time said, oh, you know, punk rockers always sew their stuff up with dental floss because it's stronger than thread and it's minty fresh. So, <laughs> yeah, at what point was it more dental floss than, than gig bag? Uh, the other gig bag I had was I had a, I have a Sadowski gig bag that belonged to a roommate I had that when he went to, back to Japan, he didn't have enough room for it. Uh, so I commandeered his gig bag, and that was the only case I've had that's lasted more than two years, and I've had it for almost ten years. But it's starting to wear and tear and fall apart, so it's time for a good upgrade. I figure, you know, you better go big or go home. Get something that costs, you know, that's guaranteed to last. So this thing really feels like it's... It's going to last, but uh, you know, I'll definitely maybe in a couple years or a year or so, I'll I'll upgrade it. You know, I I often go to some practices or park my vehicle far away, and I'll ride a skateboard, longboard, and these things are on my back for a few blocks on my back, being pugged and pulled around. So, you know, I definitely abuse the crap out of these things and walk several blocks. You know, I live in Denver now, as you can tell, but. I don't do as much walking as when I lived in Hollywood, uh, but um, we'll see how it goes. I really do dig this bag, and um, yeah, thanks to the, uh, the nice people at uh, the store for upgrading me, and thanks to Dakota Tanksley for letting me use his real book, and um, yeah, I'm going to try to do some of these v base gear vlogs as the gear comes in, um, and you know, the usual stuff subscribe or notify or whatever. Until next time, see ya.